All right, let's go over all the options that live inside the client section of Paperbell. Now clients is what it sounds like. All of the clients that have touched Paperbell will be listed here. Now I wanna start by telling you what not to do in the client section. So a lot of people go to this client section and they see this add client button and they think, ooh, I wanna add all of my clients. That's actually not the normal way that clients get into Paperbell. The normal way that your clients will get into the Paperbell system is through purchasing or booking a package. So for example, maybe you have a free discovery call. When people book that free discovery call, they get into your client system or of course doing some other kind of purchase. So generally you actually don't want to be adding a lot of clients. You might add a client if for example, you had someone that you were already working with before you signed up for Paperbell and you wanna add them into your system and maybe you want to add a package for them that they've already paid for outside of Paperbell. You wanna continue the engagement in Paperbell, something like that. You might add a client um, or you could just give them, for example, a coupon code to make a package free because they've already paid for it and you could do it that way. There's, there's some different ways to do it. So this client section uh, lists all of your clients. Note that you can export a spreadsheet of all your clients, which is really cool if you ever need that data outside the system. Uh, there's also this send email feature in Paperbell that allows you to send an email either to an individual client or a group of clients. So you are able to email everyone in a certain package. To do that, you would select the package here, click search, and then after you've searched for it, it'll show you all the people in this package. And if you click send email up here, it will automatically send an email to everyone in that package, which is pretty cool. So now let's look for an individual client and show you all the options there. So I'm gonna search for my client's name, hit the search button, and then you'll see their profile come up. Uh, right off the bat, you can see this is a listing of when their next appointment is and how many appointments they have remaining. So I'm going to click on Jamie. What I see on this home screen is a great overview of when the next appointment is, how many appointments are left, and the total amount of money that Jamie has paid so far, as well as a little overview of his details. And you can click view all under any of these uh, to see the detail page. We'll look at them through the tabs here. Okay, let's explain these options up here. So what gift package does, it's a way to grant access to a package for free to Jamie. So again, you would really only use this if maybe Jamie's already uh, paid for a package outside of Paperbell, but now you wanna continue that within Paperbell, you could gift the package. You can click here to send an email to Jamie if you wanna do it through the Paperbell system. Modify allows you to modify Jamie's name, add in his phone number, if his email is incorrect, you can fix that here. If he tells you he wants a different time zone in Paperbell, you can fix that here. He can also do these things himself in his own Paperbell client profile. And if you click book appointment, this will take you straight to appointment booking for Jamie. So I would choose which of these packages I wanna book the appointment for. In this case, I'm gonna book them for the multi-session package, and then I can go ahead and book an appointment for me and Jamie in the Paperball system. All right, let's see what else is in here. Okay, this appointments tab shows you both upcoming, in this case, this one is upcoming, and a history of all the appointments that you've ever had, which is pretty cool. Let's go to packages, because there's actually a lot of options here in packages. So. This shows you a list of all the packages that Jamie has purchased. It also allows you to make modifications to those packages just for Jamie. So this is important to understand the difference between the packages here and your overall packages tab. When I go to this packages tab up here, I'm modifying the packages for everybody, but sometimes you need to tweak something for just one client. So we'll talk about kind of what those use cases are. So let's look at this multi-session package for Jamie. I'm gonna click view on that. So you can see he's got four appointments total. He's used three. Uh, you can see all the historical stuff, the date that he purchased, the price that he paid. If there's multiple payments, it'll show you exactly when those were made. 
Uh, if you filled out a survey for this package, you'll see that there. Now let's look on this modify tab and see how you can modify this package. So what you can do in modify is change the number of appointments or the duration of the appointments. And let's talk about why you would do that. Let's say that you want to give Jamie an extra session. So instead of this package having four appointments, you could up it to five appointments. Or let's say that you ended up doing an appointment outside of Paperbell. Jamie called you one time and he's like, I really need to talk right now. You're like, okay, but this is going to count you know, for one of our four sessions. He's like, that's fine. You did the call, but it wasn't reflected in Paperbell. So you would go into Jamie's profile, find this purchase, modify the purchase, and you'd say, okay, well, instead of having four appointments, now it just has three total appointments because we used one up, you know, outside the Paperbell system, and now all will be right in the world, right? If he only has, uh, let's say he had one left to book, and now he will have none left to book because all three had already been booked. Uh, you can also modify the expiration for when Jamie can book the appointments. So let's say that Jamie bought this years and years ago. You're like, all right, Jamie, if you don't use up the appointments by October 31st, then the package expires then. You can modify this here. You also might want to do it the other way. So in your paper bell settings, you can automatically set expiration dates for when clients can book their package. Let's say that Jamie's expiration date is coming up. He only has a few weeks left to book and you want to extend that for him. You're like, okay, well, I'll give you another three months to use the packages instead of them expiring soon. You can change that right here. And delete purchase. Okay, I don't want you to do this very often, but I want you to know how it works. So delete purchase removes access entirely to this package. It will uh, stop any future payments that are coming up. It will also remove the ability for Jamie to book any future appointments. So all bookings will be deleted. The client will be unable to book further appointments. Just letting you know exactly what happens here. Now you would wanna use this if let's say the client is on a payment plan and the payments have failed. So you're like, okay, well, I need to take away access to this package. Or maybe you would use it if you and Jamie decided that actually, you know, this is not the right package for him. You're going to grant him access to a different package instead. You could delete him from this package or you could just modify the number of appointments down to zero. That's probably what I would do in that case because Deleting is a little bit of a nuclear option, <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, it kind of depends on payments. The thing is, if he had upcoming payments, uh, just changing it to zero appointments would not change those upcoming payments, right? It would just change the number of appointments. So kind of depends on the use case, but now you know all the different things you can do with the screen. Okay, contracts is just going to show you uh, downloads of any contracts that have been signed. Surveys are where you can view Jamie's answers for any surveys that were associated with these packages. Private content is a really cool one. So private content allows you to share content just with Jamie. And maybe you're thinking, oh, I could just, I could send an email with the link, but this is a little bit better because it will stay in Jamie's paper bell private content portal so you know if you've ever had maybe you told your client you want to send them this breakthrough pdf that you have and maybe you emailed it to him and then two months later he said uh i can't find that can you email it to me again uh i don't know if that's ever happened to you it's definitely happened to me so if you use this private content feature you can put it in their paper bell portal when they come back to you in a few months and they say ah uh, i can't find that where did it go you say just check the Paperbell portal, it's all in there. So you can either add files here, you can add a link to any site on the internet, you can also embed videos here for Jamie to watch. And he can share clients, clients? He can share files with you. So if he goes into his Paperbell portal, he has the same option 
to upload content that he can share with you. So maybe you gave him some uh, homework to do, you know, a PDF to fill out. He could upload that for you to view. Or maybe you asked him to keep some journal entries or notes about something. He could upload those in Paperbell so that you can view them and so that it's easy for you to always keep and reference them later. Notes is where you keep notes about your client. These are all private to you. These are not shared with Jamie. If you'd like to do shared notes, a really good way to do that is to add a link to a Google Doc that you can both modify. And then you both have a really easy way to keep track of and access that doc because it's right here in Paperbell. And the last thing in the client section is a log of all the emails that Jamie has been sent from Paperbell. So this is just a really good way for you to have visibility as to kind of the client experience that Jamie is having with Paperbell. It just gives you a little confirmation that things are happening the way you expected. So when I uploaded these files, Jamie did get an email letting him know that I had uploaded the file for him. You know, we know that Jamie got an email when he booked this appointment. So that's kind of nice if Jamie says, well, I thought I booked the appointment, but I didn't get the email. You're like, okay, well, I see that you did receive the email here. Um, and now you know that Paperbell sent him a reminder that he has unbooked sessions. Just gives you good visibility as to what's going on with Jamie.